I can't tell you the number of times I pulled up to a house with prospective buyers and they said, we're good, we don't even need to go in because people are gonna make up their mind about your house in the first 10 seconds. <music> Welcome, I'm Lena. This is Flipping Gorgeous. I'm a realtor turned renovator. I take all of my years of experience of helping people buy and sell homes and combine it with my love of design and renovation and give you my best tips to help you transform outdated spaces. This video, we are going to talk all things curb appeal. Hey, here we are, home sweet home. So, this is like your house? When someone is either looking to buy a home or maybe you're looking to buy a home, if you pull up and you're like, oh, we're good, we're out of here, this place looks like it's, you know, maybe someone's dead in the backyard, buyers are gonna run off. So that's a little extreme. But let's talk about what is curb appeal. So that's exactly that. Curb appeal is what the house looks like from the curb. When someone pulls up, what is their initial first impression? Are they seeing a nice, well-maintained home, or are they seeing a house that's peering out of a jungle of bushes? So we're going to get into eight ways that you can up your curb appeal with very simple DIY items, and then a few that you might want to hire out for a professional to take care of. So let's get into it. Let's define what is good curb appeal and what is bad curb appeal. So good curb appeal would be, I come up to a house, the lawn is well maintained, the paint looks great, the house looks very inviting. I wanna go in, I wanna see it, it seems cozy or it seems like a place I wanna spend time. Bad curb appeal is just like I said earlier, you pull up, you're like, wow, uh, has anyone living here? How long has it been since they cut the lawn? You know, you've got gutter, shingles, roof falling up. That is bad curb appeal. If you're looking to sell a home and you wanna get top dollar, it's really important that you take these eight steps before you list your home. And if you're looking to buy a house, maybe, realize that these eight things are things that you could change within the property. Very first action item is take care of an overgrown yard. This is a really simple one. This is super simple DIY. Make sure that the grass is cut. Make sure that any overgrown bushes are cut down. Take care of what's there first. And once you get the existing landscaping cleaned up, then maybe consider bringing in a professional who could help transform the yard even further. But just cutting the grass and cutting down overgrown bushes, trees that are around the house makes such a big difference. Number two is a fresh coat of paint on the exterior of the home. Now this could be because one, the house is dated and you know we've seen this a lot lately people taking dated brick homes and painting them a white that just instantly boosts the curb of feel the house feels new it feels fresh it's going to really be a huge return on investment to paint a dated looking home so that buyers feel like it's turnkey and it's ready to move into or again if you're buying a house and you're like wow it looks a little dated some paint can be transformational. Now that's a bigger job and probably something you're going to want to hire out for most people. But simple things like, is the siding in good shape? Does it need to be painted? Does, you know, something as small as the front door. Painting a front door is so crucial. People are gonna walk up and if the paint is chipped or it's a dingy or it's a dark or it's a red or something like that, the best thing you can do is paint the front door a kind of a fun pop of color. Maybe you can paint it a yellow, a blue, a teal. But if you've got something that's like a little bit dated, maybe just adding that little pop of color can really refresh the space and make it more inviting and welcoming. So then number three, pressure wash the driveways, the walkways, anything that is grimy or dirty, pressure wash it. Pressure washing is incredible. It really can take something that looks dingy and make it look brand new. And this is another little easy DIY one. If you've got walkways, concrete, you can go to a big box store, you can rent a pressure washer, but honestly, hiring somebody to pressure wash is not that expensive and is really a good return on your investment. Pressure wash fences. Like we lived in a house and the fence 
looked horrible when we first moved in. I mean, it was moldy, it was green. We got out there with a pressure washer. I mean, it was work, but that fence looks so much better after we pressure washed it. And if the buyer, I mean, if the sellers would have pressure washed it beforehand, we probably would have gone in thinking the house was worth more money. Like, oh, look at this fence, that's in great shape. They would have pressure washed the walkways. So pressure washing, power washing is definitely something you want to do before you put a house on the market or if you bought a house and it's looking a little rough the power of just a deep clean of those areas is transformational so again that brings me to number five which would be after you pressure wash walkways check out the condition of them does the concrete seem broken? Does it need to be filled in in some places? Is it cracked or is it missing? You really wanna make sure that your driveway is looking good. Because again, if you're wanting to sell and a buyer drives up and they see big old cracks in the driveway, they're gonna think, wow, this house has not been well maintained. We're gonna have to fix that. If they're walking up to the front door and the pathway is broken, really wanna consider getting that fixed first or potentially even laying new stone on a walkway. All right, now let's go to number six. This is probably one of the biggest and largest items when it comes to curb appeal, and that would be your roof and your gutters. So when I was taking buyers out to look at houses, if we came across a house that looked like the roof needed to be replaced, this was a huge red flag for people because they think roof replace, dollars, dollars, dollars. Like that's going to be so expensive. So if you pull up to a house and the shingles are falling off, my gutter, you know, the gutters are just full of debris, they're hanging off. In people's minds immediately, they think this is going to cost me so much money. Now, if you are wanting to sell a house, it is probably a big ticket item to replace a roof, but you could at least get the roof serviced if there's any missing shingles. And then you can always negotiate that down the road if, if the roof does really have to be replaced. But that initial look of the roof when people ro roll up to the house is so critical and important. So again, if you're missing shingles, if you've got gutters that are overfilled, that are hanging off, you want to fix those, you wanna clean those, gutter cleaning is very inexpensive and is just going to help the house look like it's been well maintained. To number seven, going back to outdoor spaces. When someone is looking at your home or you're looking at home to purchase, if you can stage outdoor areas to show people how those can be used, how they could enjoy them, that's going to boost your curb appeal so much. So if you've got a beautiful front porch showing someone you know, patio furniture that's out there, maybe a swing, something that's going to allow them to envision themselves of, I can really sit here and drink my tea or drink my coffee, or in the backyard, adding something as simple as a fire pit, or, you know, again, some outdoor living spaces, because people really love enjoying being outside. And especially these past couple years where we've all been at home more the more outdoor spaces you can have for living the more outdoor spaces you can have for entertainment number eight is change the lighting fixtures that are either outdated or broken on the home so you know what i mean when you walk up and you see the light fixtures outside the garage light fixture right outside the front door if these are really dated or they look kind of like they've been in bad condition just replacing those can make the house feel nice and fresh and again giving people the sense of this is a well-maintained home. So these are simple ones that you can do. These eight things are really going to help transform the exterior feel of your house. And again, if you're wanting to sell your home, give buyers that feeling of this is where I wanna be, this is well-maintained home, not like let's get the heck out of here. I don't even need to see the inside because the outside has told me everything I need to know. Or if you're one of those brave enough people who have come to a home like that and you say, you know what, we're gonna buy this house anyway because we're getting a good deal, you can take these ideas and transform it and make that space really feel like a beautiful home. So I hope this was helpful today. If you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments. Consider smashing that subscribe button. And again, thanks for being here. I'm Lena and I'll see you next time.